Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Today is Monday and of course my camera is zoomed in so I'm going to zoom that out for you. Just because I did a video earlier and uh, had it zoomed in and forgot to zoom it back out. There you go. You can actually see the whole picture. Um, <laughs> So let's see, who do we have here? Hello, Courtney. Hello, Dawn. Hello, Noel. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Alex. Hello, Yana. Hello, Aspie. Hello, Celine. Hello, hello, all the lurker lurkers out there as well. So we're still working on the jewelry box. I finished up the flowers and we'll work on the jewelry box itself today and possibly some of the ballerinas. Uh, if we don't get it done today, which we probably won't, because Saturday is going to be the last stream of the month, uh, we will continue with this. We are going to do something special uh, on the jewelry box. Uh, Miss Alex there bought me some Distress Crackle paste and it's translucent. So I will color the music box and I will put the paste on and let it dry um, over the week. And on Saturday we will finish the, um, the music box itself. The Crackle paste gives an, the illusion of um, old porcelain, you know, when old porcelain, the glaze cracks on it and you get those spiderweb cracks all over. That's what we're going to do to the jewelry box. Hello, Della. So that is what is going to happen there. <laughs> Aw, thanks. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I figured it's coming up on the anniversary. I should do a memorial. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to adjust my table here because it was... So we're going to actually color the music box and then I'll put the glaze on and then we'll come back on Saturday after the glaze is dry and we will um, color in the cracks. So we are going to zoom in to the top of the music box here and we're going to start there and then we'll work our way down. Um, maybe. <laughs> I'm going to zoom on in. Oh, do I have... No, autofocus isn't on. Oh, yes it is. There it is. Okay. Let's turn the autofocus off. Alright, so we're going to start up here on the top of the music box. And we are going to color that as a red velvet. So, we're going to start with... SC15 which is a brown do I want that one? I guess which is brown bug yeah. thank you Noelle I appreciate that My unicorn uh, sharpener is hungry today. <laughs> it's just going to hold on to the pencil for long periods of time and just, you know, devour it. Hello, Callie. Welcome. So we're going to put in our shadow areas here first. We are using the Black Widow pencils again. So how is everybody? How was your weekend? 
mine was uh, kind of sucketh because my internet was down all day Sunday. Um, it did not come up until the e late in the evening. It went down early evening on Saturday and was down all day Sunday, all night, Saturday night. Kind of sucked. So for those that don't know, about a year ago, some of my as as a April Fool's joke or prank or whatever you want to call it. Um, the mods and I uh, did a bit of a prank and had the Jen, Devisa, and Alex take over the channel and color mandalas. There was a bit of a kerfuffle <laughs> and the uh, power went out and when the power came back on uh, I was at my desk again and I, I tore up uh, Alex's mandala. So that is why there is a mandala memorial <laughs> that was put out today. Remembering the Oh, you slept for an hour today. I hope that's not all you slept. But it was it was a very comical um, April Fool's Day joke. Some people didn't get the joke, <laughs> but and there are some people, Miss Jen, who are still mourning the loss of said mandala. So I I had to put out the the manda mandala memorial and to remind everybody of of the joke. <laughs> Thank you, Dawn. No, this did not include Celine. Um, it was before she became a mod. Otherwise, she would have been in the mix of it too. She would have been making the mandalas, I'm just saying. <laughs> Well, that's good. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. And I did color a mandala for those of you that uh, don't believe you can watch the video. <laughs> I did not tear it up. It is still in existence. Just saying. We don't need to have another memorial next year for the mandala I tore up this year. Because I haven't torn it up. <laughs> Hello, B. Yes, yes, you, you were cracking up. However, there were some people that were quite upset that I, I tore up your mandala. And for those people, I have done a memorial service. To, to give them closure and let them mourn the loss of the mandala. I thought it was funny. <laughs> so I'm just going through and I'm putting in the edges of the pillow or the, the you know, the fabric here, the cushion at the top of the music box. Oh, 
Oh, that's awesome, Della. You deserve it. <laughs> if you would like the mandala, absolutely, you are welcome to the mandala. And of course, we are working on Monya Gates uh, once again. Uh, we will be working on Monya for the month of March because it is Monya March. And we will be doing a giveaway halfway through the stream for one page of uh, Monya's PDFs. Um, so what you're going to need to do if you do win the giveaway is you will need to go to Monya's Etsy account and or Etsy page, I should say. Uh, and choose a picture send me a uh, email of a screenshot of the picture and I will send that to Monia and I will get that to her as quickly as possible uh, and she will send you the PDF of said picture. So if you have a favorite one, now I, uh, other than unforeseen circumstances such as the internet going out or something like that, I do try to get to those right away. So please do uh, make sure that you send me a screenshot as soon as possible um, so I don't forget to send it because I will <laughs> just saying take one day a week where you do as little as possible that's a good idea all right now we're going to go in with blood diamond Let me know if uh, the sound is okay. Um, I did get informed that my sound was a little bit low. So if you have issues hearing me, let me know right away so I can see if I can adjust things. I don't know if I can, but I will try. This is Blood Diamond from the Cobra set. I figure it's kind of fitting for a jewelry box. <laughs> that is awfully pink. It should not be that pink. I'm going to adjust slightly here. It's a little pinker than it should be. Well, I think that's about the best I'm going to get it. Hello, Sharon. I have printed this on the Strathmore gray toned uh, paper that Monia normally uses or actually enjoys using, I should say. 
Uh, it's a little bit difficult for her to get down there, but she does get it. But yes, it's the Strathmore gray toned. Thank you, Della. So I'm just going back and forth a little bit with the two reds. I'll be introducing a third red here in just a minute uh, for the centers of the cushioned area. Again, I'm using the Black Widow pencils. The first red I'm using is the Brown Bug. The second red I'm using is Blood Diamond, both from the Cobra set. Well, no, one's from the Scorpion set, one's from the Cobra set, sorry. Um, for the pencils or for the book? Unfortunately, the book is only available on Etsy. Uh, the pencils, I do have a link for the Black Widow um, area of Amazon. The set I have is all of the sets put together. Uh, so if you would like to use these two reds, they are the Scorpion set as well as the uh, Cobra set. Um, unfortunately, at this time, she does not have any of her pages on, um, on any of her books on Amazon. She is hopefully going to be putting some on Amazon soon. But if you type in exclamation, oh, the paper, I'm sorry. The paper. I do not have it right now, but I can get it for you. Um, take a look at the video after the live stream, and I will put a link for the paper in the description. Monia is having a 45% off sale right now, so if you do uh, enjoy Monia's work, now would be the best time to purchase some of her work when it's and save a little bit of a little bit of dough so you can purchase more and get more for your money <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, I will I will put an Amazon link in the description below the video after the stream. I can't remember if I put it on my community tab. On my community tab is a uh, post that has the links for everything I've used or done since January on the uh, channel. So if you have anything that you would like to look at pencil-wise or book-wise or media-wise, it will also be listed on the community tab posting.
Thank you, Aspie. <laughs> oh, Aspie, that's awesome. I love that. All right, Alex, thank you. I would appreciate that. I don't know if I put it in the in the link post, but I will put it in the link post as well for future references. Cuz sometimes finding the video or you know, finding where you saw something is a little more difficult. And sometimes I forget to put them on the videos. <laughs> Just saying. She always has such wonderful, wonderful things. Love it when she puts words to things. She has such a talent for words. Sometimes I have issues, you know, actually just getting words out, but Aspie has such a talent for it. So poetic. It's just gray toned. It's the nine by twelve, I think. Nine, yeah, nine by twelve. Yeah, absolutely. It's fantastic for skin tones. The the way that the color just 
pops off the page on a toned paper is just wonderful. If you want to see the flowers done, it would they were done on Saturday uh, during Saturday's live stream. And on Saturday's live stream, there is a link to Monia's Etsy account for this particular page. I didn't link it this time because I forgot. Oh, no worries at all. Uh, hopefully she enjoys her dindins once it's all cooled off. All right, now we're going to use a slightly lighter red. So I need um, I think GG134. Actually, no, we'll use Ladybug. So BW89, which is Ladybug, so it's a Black Widow Ladybug. It's going to be the final color that we use on this mixture here. bringing that material to life there, putting in our highlights. I don't want it to be too bright because I want it to look like old, old material. And sometimes old material will fray and fade. Sometimes it it's been closed. All this time it will be darkened. Velvet especially tends to darken. Yeah, absolutely, Lisa. It is definitely a personal preference. Paper is so... Um, so personal. You know, some people dislike the paper of one book and other people absolutely love it. It all depends upon all depends upon uh, what you enjoy and what you prefer. If you enjoy a really toothy paper, it also depends upon the pencils as well. Um, sometimes the toothier paper is better suited to a harder pencil. 
because if you use it, um, or actually it's better suited for a softer pencil, because if you use a harder pencil, it'll take longer to fill in that tooth, where with a softer pencil, you can smush it into the tooth and still get a good vibrant color. Hello, Mama Mona! Mama Mona! How are you, darling? I hope you are doing well. Ah, uh, so you're in the UK. So yes, uh, the Strathmore toned uh, paper should be available in the UK. Um, that will at least give you a link to the paper so that you can copy and paste the name. Strathmore is a UK company, so. I do believe. Just blending all those colors together with the ladybug. Leaving the center area with some of the tooth just to show the fade as well as the highlight. I am doing okay. I, I, I had a, a moment this afternoon where I, or this morning where I had to do a m memorial service for the mandalas of, of yesterday. Um, but other than that, I'm doing good. <laughs> Colored a mandala and it almost put me to sleep on camera. It was bad, just saying. I have, I have miniaturized it so I wouldn't fall asleep, and I still almost did. <laughs> All right, now we're going to take a really deep, deep red. So we're going to take this one, which is evil red. <laughs> Auto-correcting, wonderful. And we're going to do the buttons. And I think we're going to go down the edges of the material as well, just to give it that defining line. bit up here at the top. Just getting the shadow in from that edge up there. Make sure you don't color your ballerina's legs or her feet in bright red. <laughs> <laughs> no, tene is, is, I don't know if that's even a word. <laughs> but, you know, it's okay. I will change my name for you, Mona. You call me what you want. Just don't call me late for anything. All right, so we've got the, 
this part here done. Now we're going to do this part up here and we're going to do that in a golden metallic. So I need, what colors do I need? I need CB34, which is nougat or nugget, whichever. For you, you can call me any old thing. Just don't call me late for anything. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to use gold and to antique it up, we're going to use a brown. So we need SD22. Well, actually, let's use 32, which is chocolate. Uh, I think that should be... Looking for 32 here. Hold on. Why don't I have 32? No, it's 23. I'm reading it backwards, people. It's okay. <laughs> it's 23. It's the one I thought I wanted in the first place. I just go over here now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mona. I'm going to turn you slightly, and we're going to start with gold, and we're just going to put a base coat of the gold down. Remember to avoid your ballerina's leg. And this again is the from the Co Cobra set number thirty two. Make sure I get a good coating of it down. And then we'll be using that to um, finish it off as well. Let's see if my sharpener cannot be so hungry this time. Not right yet, no. I'm actually going to leave the white spot unless it drives me completely crazy. <laughs> Hello, Topeka. All right, now we're going to go with Nugget. I, I'm trying to embrace the white. I am. I'm trying to embrace the white. We're bringing that nugget, nougat or nugget or that yellow tone, that bright yellow tone 
down to about the center, leaving a good strip of the gold color. Again, this is from the Cobras, number 34. Hello, Marilyn. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. And then we're going to use the chocolate. And we might take a little bit of that evil red. Let me put it up in here too. Chocolate is a good color, but it's just got a little bit, needs a little bit of the red. So we're just going to put that down first. And then we'll work the chocolate into it. We're going to bring the chocolate in. And we're going to bring it down into the yellow of the nugget, nougat, nugget color, giving it that antiqued gold look. Aged gold, tarnished gold. It's always good to work chocolate into everything, yes, absolutely. You are very correct there. Now we're not going to put chocolate on the other side of her legs. We'll come in with a little bit of gray to put in the shadow of her legs because we don't want her legs to be tarnished. We just want uh, them to be shadowed. And we'll do that last. I need just a little bit of something else. I'm going to bring in CB44. I think it's this one, yes. So we're going to use a CB44, which is out of the Cobra set, and it's Sunset.
bringing it out above the chocolate. Blending that chocolate into the golden tones. The orange gives you a good transition between the golden tones and the brown tones, so it's not an instant transition, which makes it look um, painted, you know what I mean? with the chocolate in this area just a little bit more here with the chocolate putting in that harder line there and just feathering it up into that orange like so and then we're going to take our nugget and we're going to work from the orange down the orange up. And then we're going to take our gold and we're going to blend them all together. Hello Kara! to see you. I haven't seen you in a little while. I've seen you in other streams, but always seem to miss you in mine. Hopefully I just just not me pay, not paying attention. <laughs> it's possible. I don't pay attention sometimes. Sometimes I get into the zone and Never to be seen again. <laughs> now I'm putting a heavy pressure on the pencil to blend all of those colors together and fill in the white spot and give us that gold that gold appearance on the lid. Now we're going to take some gray so we're going to use a, a medium toned gray. I think 
think we're going to use dim gray from the Cobra set, which is CB75. And we're going to come through here. As well as here. I think I may have may have to look at that leg and so we're just put putting that shadow in for the ballerina. All right, and then we've got our doodad up there. So we're going to do the same thing up there that we did on the lower part, just with less amounts of less space. So when doing smaller areas like this, try to make sure that your pencils are very sharp so that you can get into those smaller spaces without basically you know, making it bigger than it should be. This line up here I'm leaving because we're going to do that the porcelain color. There's lid down here as well, so we'll be doing that as well. In the gold tones. So I'm following all the shadow lines with the chocolate. Hello, Angela. And then sunset. And then we'll come back with the nugget. And again with the gold, just blending all that together. All right, and then we're going to do this side here. So we've got A 
this part here, which is a part of that lid area. And this part here, which is the hinge. Hello, Shannon. And then we're going to go in with Nugget or Nugget, whichever. Typically this part here is usually in steel. I just want it gold. <laughs> I don't know why. And then we're going to go with the chocolate. And then the orange. And then again with the gold. Right here with the chocolate. And I'll finish this part here and then around the tops and down the edges here are also going to be this gold and I'll do that off screen so you're not having to watch me color gold all day and orange Bringing it all together. Then we're going to take that gray. You might come down through there with it. Hey, Fotis! How you doing? How's it going? I was asking about you the other day. I hope you're doing okay. I was wondering what you've been up to and how you've been doing. All right, now, now we're going to do the walls of the outside of, of the music box. And we're going to do it so that when I put the crackle on top of it, even though the crackle is a translucent, 
it does muddy the, the color a little bit. So it will um, just put a little bit of a milky coating over top of the color. So I want to make sure I am doing good. Thank you. I'm glad you're doing your best, dear. Make sure that you stay in touch. Otherwise, I'm going to have to hunt you down. Just reminding you. You know what happens if I hunt you down. Just saying. Hello, Sue. So we're going to do the panels of the walls in a deeper color than we would want to do them normally. Um, so that when I put the crackle over top of it, it once it mutes it down a little bit, it doesn't look um, too bright because it is an old music box. So we're actually going to do the walls in a pink tone. And I think we're going to do it in MN106. And like I said, so once I put the crackle on, we're going to start with this color. And by the time the crackle dries and everything else, we're going to end up with this color. And then we're going to go over it with a grayer creamy tone, almost a brown tone, to make those cracks show up. So we're going to start off with the Monarch set number 106. As soon as I can find it. There it is. That's 105. There it is. It is giveaway time. Sorry, guys. So the rules of the giveaway are that uh, I'm also going to need a dark color. So I'm going to use skin light number 20 as well. So the rules of the giveaway are numbers from 1 to 100. Uh, do not retract your number. Do not talk during the giveaway um, so that the mods can keep an eye on the numbers. Uh, if you win the giveaway, please send me an email with a PDF of the page that you would like to win. Um, you can find the pages on Monya's Etsy, which you can get to by hitting exclamation point Monya. And that will take you to her Etsy account. Um, once you send me an email with the screenshot of that page, I will send that directly to Monia. And she will return that to you with the PDF for your page. So I'm going to type in go, go, go. Once I type in go, 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 please do not talk in the chat. Um, so that the mods can keep an eye on the numbers. I'm just going around the edges here with the um, fairy floss. And getting that little bit of shadow in there. I'm not going to worry about the cracks that are already there. We will be working over top of them so all right so I'm going to type in go 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 once I type in go 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 uh, the countdown will start again put your numbers in from 1 to 100 no decimal points please uh, and no chatting during the giveaway so last chance to get your hellos in and everything else all right, everyone, go, go, go. This The number will be chosen through the random num number generator. Uh, make sure that you get your numbers in before I type in stop. 
remember Monia doesn't just do portraits. Um, I've done several different ones over the past month that have not been portraits that uh, you know are absolutely fantastic pages. So remember that Monia doesn't just do portraits. She does many different things. So even if you are not a fan of po coloring portraits, there is something in her in her stuff that she will be happy to uh, that you'll be happy to color. So. And at the end of the stream today, I will show you how I put the crackle on. But we will not have time for it to dry for me to show you how to uh, how to work it, which we will do on Saturday. Everybody get your numbers in. All you lurkers out there, come on in and get your number in to win one of Monya's beautiful pages. Thank you again, Monya, for your generosity with your giveaways and for coming and hanging out with us when you came onto the channel. We definitely appreciate you coming and chatting with us and hanging out. If you don't hear from Monia right away, don't worry about it. Uh, she will get back to you as soon as she can. I will finish up this wall. Hello, Catherine. Do not say hello back. I will. You can say hello back after. <laughs> I am using quite a heavy hand on the the pinks here, so that uh, when I go over it with the crackle, it will tone it down. And make it look old. Alright guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up this wall and then that will be it for the giveaway. So if you have not gotten your number in, please get your number in uh, so that uh, you don't miss out. This is going to be one of the last um, streams for Monia March. I will be streaming again on Saturday uh, and that will be the last giveaway for Monia March. So. If you have not won one of Monia's PDFs and would like one, make sure you get your number in. If you are only here on Monday nights, this is your last chance. Let's make it a good one. almost done this wall with the first layer anyway so going over the cracks and all of the areas that the ink is with the colored pencil will keep it from moving when I put down the crackle. 
so it won't muddy the crackle paste with a black color. So that's one of the reasons why I'm putting this down first. It will warp the page, so if you don't like having the page warped, um, make sure that you are using it on a page that uh, has a good heavy heaviness to it. I did do a couple of different experiments on how to apply it and that sort of thing to get the best results. All right, so that is the part of the page there. And I haven't seen any more new numbers come in for a while, so I'm going to type in stop in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. And now if I can only get to random to work, there we go. I'm going to do a quick random and I'm going to enlarge that so you can actually see the number. And we're going to hit generate. The number is 8. So the closest one without going over is Catherine. So congratulations, Catherine. Uh, send me an email letting me know what PDF you wanted to uh, win and I will get that over to Monia as quickly as I can and she will respond to you via email. Alright guys, congratulations Catherine. I appreciate uh, you joining. It's awesome. Now, like I said, these areas here are going to be uh, gold, just like the top area here. So we're going to do this panel here, and then we're going to do the steps in a different color. <laughs> well, don't hold your breath, Callie. My goodness. <laughs> uh, did we get a new subscriber? Welcome! I missed the new subscriber, sorry. And welcome to uh, the channel. I hope you enjoy the shenanigans and the coloring that goes on. I'm going to come back through with that darker pink in the shadow areas. So again, we're using Fairy Floss. which is SL020. Hi, Calamity! <laughs> nope, you didn't miss it all. You've still got an hour to go. <laughs> you got very confused. Well, don't watch two things at the same time. Again, uh, when I go over this with the crackle, it will lighten it up a lot. Uh, so don't, uh, don't be concerned. Also, when we go over the crackle with the dark color, the brown color to give it that crackle, crackled look of fractured porcelain 
glaze, it will uh, lighten up quite a bit more as well. <laughs> it was double the Renee at the same time. That's awesome. Well, double the fun. <laughs> Now we're going to do the same thing down here. We're going to put in the shadow for the overhang. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I tickle in my throat suddenly. Putting in the shadow for the moon, as well as the little lan lanterns here, and down the side of the door. <sighs> I am sorry that you're delirious, dear. I take it you did not sleep well. And then just one more coat of the fudge. I want it to still be pink when we're done. <laughs> Yes, I did the closest number without going over. Everybody went over, so I just did the closest. Because it was an 8. I could have redone it, but... But everybody was over, so I just did the closest. Now that I think of it. <laughs> uh, they're a medium. Um, you can definitely squish them if you if you want to squish, but you can you can layer them as well. They are they are a fickle um, pencil. They do have special uh, they are special needs when it comes to different papers. I do find that these ones are not the best to color on smooth paper with. And they do uh, they do both layering as well as smushing quite well so. but they do eat up the tooth of the paper on smooth paper very quickly. All right, so there we have the front entryway. This side here is also going to be done the same way. So we're going to take the 
dark pink and we're going to come down through here where there's shadow. <laughs> Aww. Then you would have won ammonia. And then you would have had to color it. <laughs> I'd like to see you color ammonia, dear. Just saying. In, in plastic. <laughs> lurk away, darling, lurk away. And we've got a drawer there, so this part here is also going to be that pink. Yes, the realm of silent observation. Aspie created that realm. So. And we're going to do this edge here. I'm not going to be doing this edge with the crackle. Same with down here. So this edge here is going to still be showing quite bright. Let's try not to go into the flower. side here will have the crackle on it. <laughs> that would have been ironic. Absolutely. <laughs> no, no, you can't get me to color it and say it's yours because you color in plastic. I don't. So that does not work. I would want it colored in your medium, not mine. So I'm just going back and forth with the fairy floss and fudge. Fairy floss and fudge. Hmm. Sounds like a, a summer carnival to me. I don't get into ballerina there. All right. Oh, it actually does. It just depends upon how you do it. He has made a coloring page with melted plastic.
He actually did make me a coloring page out of melted plastic, just saying. And we've got gold there. There's going to be a lot of gold with this pink. I think I might do the key in silver. Just to make it different. Hello, Emily. Uh, that and the um, Harry Potter. He did the Harry Potter one for me. And Emily has one that he has created that uh, can be a coloring page as well. She's got a Bob Ross painting that can be colored. With acrylic paint markers. So it can be done. <laughs> yes, you do. Bob, Bob, who? Yeah. Oddly enough, Bob's done a couple of coloring things. <laughs> Yep, it was Dobby for the Harry Potter a thon. That somebody told me looked like complete and utter poop. <laughs> While well, it was in its uh, uh, ugly teenage stage. I didn't care. I was having fun doing it. Just going over this with the fudge. Again, using a fairly heavy hand because we are going to be going over this with a crackle medium and uh, a crackle paste, which will lighten it down a little bit. It will mute it a little bit. All right, and now we're going to do the porch. I haven't decided what colors to do the um, shutters yet. So let's do the porch first, and then we'll decide on the shutters. So I think the porch I want to have done in this one. And oh, twenty one. This one. 
So we're going to use fawn and brown fog for the porch and the floor. So this area here that comes into the porch. We're going to start with the fawn and then we're going to do the shadows in the brown fog. I'll even make sure that I'm in screen. This area here will be crackled as well. So we're going to put this down really heavy so that when we go over it with the crackling we'll be able to still see the color underneath. Right now I'm just putting a base coat down. And then we're going to come in with brown fog. The last thing we do this evening uh, will be to add some of the crackles so that you can see how it's done. Um, I will add the rest of it off screen and let it dry. And then on Saturday, uh, when we come back, we'll finish things up and we'll do the crackle uh, coloring. So we'll color over the crackle paste. on Saturday. I need my eraser because I went off the lines. Alright, so now we're coming back with the fawn. I think I want that shadow area to be a little bit darker, so I'm going to go a little bit darker with it with SD8, which is washed purple. Thank you OBS for disconnecting and reconnecting. I am back if anybody was missing me. We might have Bob to check and see what's going on. Okay, am I back? It's reconnecting again. Yeah, my internet doesn't, uh, my internet's been acting up the past couple of days too, so hopefully it's back. I've got a really, really, really cruddy frame rate. So hopefully it's not horrible. Yes, I'm blipping in and out. Uh, hopefully it's not my internet itself. <sighs> Let me know if I'm still here or if you guys are having major issues, you know, anything like that. I might have to call it early. I hope I don't because I really wanted to show you the crackle.
my frame rate it sucks yeah it's it's my OBS <laughs> no it's not because you're at the bowling alley Still got really bad frame rate. Okay, I'm back. All right, as long as I'm back, that's then I'll continue. <laughs> OBS is not having fun with it at all. I am. I do have really, really bad frame rate. Uh, so if it's buffering, I do apologize. I don't know what's going on with the frame rate. My internet is having an issue again. Heck, don't worry. <laughs> Spoke too soon, did you, Celine? Okay, I'm going to come up here and we're going to do the same colors up here as we did on the porch. <laughs> oh, great. How rude. They're mad at me because I turned off monetization. I got tired of uh, everybody having issues with the loudness of the advertisements in stream. So I try not to monetize the stream so that I can not blow your ears out, uh, of course. Of course it is. I don't know what to do. I don't usually have this issue, so. Does it seem okay? Nope, because it just kicked me again. Ay, ay, ay. Am I still connected? It says error, YouTube is not responding, blah, blah, blah. Ah, I think it might be. I don't know if it's the internet or if it's OBS. Like I said, I had some internet issues yesterday, so. And I have some really, really stinking horrible frame rate, so. I think. Yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. Well, we've got 15 minutes. Am I good now? Okay. All right, I will leave it alone. Let's hope. We've got 15 minutes, so hopefully it stays good. I'm going to finish up this area here, and then I'll do the crackle and call it a day. I don't know what's going on with the Internet, and I really wish they'd stop. As well as finishing the crackle.